Hi, welcome. My name is Rachel. I am a homeschool mom of four boys. I have graduated to this school year. I have a fifth grader and a 10th grader, and we have been given the opportunity to try a science from Science Shepherd. Let me know down below if you have heard of it or are familiar with it. Well, the science that we're trying, because really my son in 10th grade is working on biology, and then my fifth grader is actually working through a science from his curriculum, Heart of Dakota. So this was an extra, but it is something they could do together. So I'm gonna share that with you, but I'm also gonna show you what I am possibly looking at for my sixth grader next school year. The one we are using now is Unearthing the Bible, and it has been great. I highly recommend it. It has gone into great depth of showing all the different discoveries that have brought truth to God's Word. Now, a lot of people do question whether the Bible is just stories or whether it's you know, just fairy tales, stories people have made up, but through archeology span and different discoveries in that realm of science, there has been so much that has been discovered that has pointed to the Bible discoveries of names that are in the Bible from Old Testament that we really wouldn't even think of that were kings in different countries at that time that have been found and have been said to be from the time that was mentioned in the Bible. And so many different great discoveries. Of, of course, a lot of us are familiar with those of the actual Bible scrolls that were found but this just gives little tidbits in about three minutes, more or less, of a particular find. And I enjoy how he talks about it, gives you a map of where it's found, gives you scripture that correlates with it. So that is really helpful. And then we also have the printouts, which are the workbook pages. And it has been helpful to sort of look over that first get an idea of what you want to be listening to and then before you start the video. So as they're listening to it, they can just sort of pause it and look for the answers. Now there has been times we've watched it straight through and then went back, but as we sort of got used to the format of it, that works best. And they even suggest that you can do that. So it has been a good subject that my boys could actually do together. We are not doing any more than this right now. Last semester, we did quite a few Bible studies and read alouds together. So we have sort of taken this as our subject to do together. And it has gone well. They have both learned from it. I feel like, I think it really can build your faith and say, hey, wow, that is so neat that they actually found that and that gives proof to God's word. So, and I think it's neat how the Lord allows them to find these things over the years. So, all right, I am going to turn the camera around and we're going to look at the computer a little bit, give you an idea of what we are looking at, give you an idea of what I'm thinking about for my sixth grader and some of the other curriculum that they offer. Okay, here we are with the course that my boys are taking and you, I will come back and we'll look at what other options there are. But we can start by looking at the course curriculum itself and what it has to offer. 43 lessons, two hours of video content. So it is only about three minutes per lesson, about three days a week for 15 weeks. And it is for grades three through eight and beyond. So, all right. And if I hit the course, this is where it takes me. And if you look over here, it takes you to the course. The one one would be the printing of the material. So we start with the first video. We've done all these weeks and they are down here to class 28, which is week 11. So they have not done these yet. So you would just click it on. I think I have the volume down. So I'm a little bit going to just give you a little sample here. It let's me do it. I might have to come over here to 
complete and continue. So this is how it would start out with him talking. And let's see how long this one is. It is about, well, this one's three minutes and 46 seconds. So you would spend time watching the video, which is very informative. We have enjoyed them, even though they are short. Okay, I did want to show you a little bit about the printables. So you have this whole workbook, which is actually 90 pages for this, which is just 15 weeks of a program, three days a week, and it gives you the content, note to parents, then it gets really into class one, which is some questions, and a word search puzzle, some questions for advanced study, and the crossword puzzle, which would be more for advanced also. So day two is some more questions, a little bit more fill in there, another crossword puzzle, and more for advanced study. So it does give you another page option for that. So you could print this all out at one time. You could print a few weeks out at a time or um, just one day at a time, however, whatever would work best for you. Okay, let's look at some of the other courses that they offer. Astronomy, which I think is elementary to middle school. Biology, which is high school. Earth science, I think that is through sixth grade. Fundamentals of chemistry and which is middle school through early high school. Introductory science, which would be very early, very early elementary. Life science, I think this is elementary to middle school. You would have to look for yourself. I'm not gonna go through each one some live classes. I have not really looked into the live classes. So let's go back. This is the one we are considering for my upcoming sixth grader. Earth science. Discover more about the world God has created through rock formation, plate, tectonics, oceanography, fossils, and more. And we have watched the preview. Um, there's 163 lessons. 12 and a half hours of video, grades two through sixth and beyond. I have a sample lesson that you could watch, sort of an introductory. I think it mainly gives you the idea of what the course is about. And here is the teacher, Scott Hardin, which you could read more about him. You could try today five lessons, plus you can also look at their level A and level B work pages for those lessons. Okay, if I hit the enroll now, it's going to take me to the Earth Science, which for the bundle, level A, 15 months of streaming, digital book format, that would be $58.75. Let's look at if I wanted level B. So this book only comes digital form ebooks, key features about the class. Let's look at key features. One bundle includes everything needed to begin Earth science. Topics of both levels include the Earth's layers, earthquakes, volcanoes, weather, and much more. And if you watch the sample, it really goes through all the keys that it's going to be talking about throughout the school year. Level B includes all level A lessons plus additional lessons for more advanced study in selected areas, in select areas. And I think this has to do with the actual workbook. Provide schedule can be adjusted to fit your needs. Great for independent study. Fully developed by homeschool family. Your choice of book format. Soft cover coming 2023. Hmm. So I'm curious, I'm gonna have to maybe email them and find out about that. So you can watch a sample of this below. Look at learn more. I did want to let you know that A is recommended for ages, for grades two through four, and B is for grades four through six, which is ages 10 to 12. My son is 11. It does give a lot more information, uh, the curriculum overview. It does say each level is presented 
in an easy to follow schedule with 4.5 minute videos for the average. So I wanted to give you an idea of how long each video is. And then there would be some workbook, either page or pages to go along with that. So, and it also mentions during or after each earth science video lesson, students complete workbook assignment. And like I said, my boys try to follow along with the worksheets as they're watching the video. Okay, I hope that was sort of helpful, just getting a look at it and seeing what we are using and all the different levels they have, you could easily combine. So keep in mind, if you buy A, that is what you're buying. But if you buy B, you get A and B. So say you have a third grader and a fifth or sixth grader, you could combine it, which I really like that. I sort of wish I knew about something like this when my older boys were younger, because you could use it as a standalone four and a half minute video and some questions and answers, which would be great for the younger ages because you don't need it to be really long, but you also could add in books if you're like me and you gotta have more visuals. So I wanted to share that idea with you and what we are looking at for the next school year for my rising sixth grader. So if you have any questions, please comment below if you want to see more, check out the link that I will link below where you can go directly to the site. I have emailed them before and they were quick to email me back. So let me share that with you also. So that was a blessing. And I will be doing more homeschool content, probably some more reviews. Definitely gonna be showing you what we are going to be using next school year. I have placed my orders, things are coming in. So we are excited about that. All right, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I appreciate you all watching and we will talk to you again soon.